man, Matt Mosley! Go for Trey, everybody. Holy <laughs> shit, there are people here. God damn, it's not even a show. That's crazy, man. It's like a real show and shit. Tickets are sold. I'm paid to be here. Hey. <laughs> Making me nervous, man. I never, I never played a crowd this big, you know? <laughs> Makes you not. It's like it's like the first time having sex or something, you know? <laughs> it's like I'm nervous and jittery and shit. And, you know, it won't take too long. <laughs> and y'all are drunk, so it's cool. <laughs> this time I keep the money, though, so... No, oh, no, we don't get paid. Great. Right. Is everybody happy the holidays are over? Yeah. You know that shit, yeah? That's good. I don't care, I'm always broke anyway, so it don't matter to me. I do, I, I like that, uh, every year, though, there's always someone I know that they get, like, fucking, like, freaked out about it. They get too excited, just... Christmas is already here. It snuck up me again this year. Really, did it? It's been the same day for 2,000 years. Did it just surprise you this December? Did it? Like, no one's been surprised about Christmas. It's the wise men. Okay? It's like your ass is on a camel in the desert. And you saw stars. Oh crap. All right. We're going over there, I guess. Let's find a merch store and a burst or a gift certificate or something. I don't know. Uh, hurry, come on, hurry up, God's gonna be pissed. <laughs> oh man, I'm glad you're all out here though, it's great. Uh, I, uh, I'm gonna bring all it back a little bit, a little nostalgia for you. Remember when you were kids, did your parents ever uh, take you over to the babysitter's house for the night? And you spent the night there? I didn't have that. To where like, it was like an adventure, you know? You got in the car and you went all the way over there and got to sleep on her floor, isn't that great? I don't know if they're gonna have that, but if you realize, when your parents got back home, they just fucked all over your house. That was the whole plan. They were in the kitchen, they were in the living room, on the doghouse, in your brother's room, in your room, on your bed, in your bed, on your slinky. With your slinky. With your slinky, that's true. <laughs> Is that, is that, is everyone traumatic? Is that good? And some scars there? Every time? I promise. I tell you, let's go, let's go to the future. How about that? We're in the fucking future. Does everyone, you, anybody realize that? It's 2011. 2011! This is the future, man! How fucking cool is that? I get pissed when people sit there and, and whine about it, you know? It's like, it's 2010, man. Where, where's, all, where's the flying cars? Hey, where's my robot butler? It's like, fuck, dude. Do you realize that right now, there are hundreds of people, thousands of feet in the sky, watching Transformers on a, on a fucking plane right now. There, right now, there are hundreds of people, thousands of feet in the sky, fucking in a bathroom while floating through clouds. <laughs> Don't tell me this is the future. Your great-grandparents used to shit in holes outside and fuck on hay next to livestock. All right? Tell me it's in the future. And don't tell me my great-grandfather wouldn't want to fucking float. Or float and fuck. I would. Well, I want to right now. It's too much fun. <laughs> oh, I'm glad everyone's out here, though, supporting uh, local comedy. I think it's great. Uh, any, any kind of thing that supports the community is really good. I, I actually went to a... Uh, I took my girl to a local high school football game a few months ago. A lot of fun. I ain't been there in a long time. But I realized a couple things. Uh, I realized the, the striking similarities between karate and cheerleading. Does anyone know this? I mean, they both have uniforms, right? There's some kind of routine or choreography. And they spend a fuck lot of time talking about defense. It's ridiculous. Nothing? All right. Uh, <laughs> that would never work. All right. I like that joke, so fuck y'all. I didn't make it over here. Um, <laughs> that's your thing coming out. This is a point that's if you did. Uh, I call her my girl. Like I took my girl to the game, like I said. Uh, I call her my girl, and I think it's sweet. I don't think it's endearing, you know? It's kind of poetic, romantic in a way, so I call her my girl. But I'm getting older, and she's getting older, and uh, it's like, I don't, I don't... At what age does it become too creepy to prefer the person you're having sex with as my girl, you know? Like, I don't... I thought about it... 
I think it's when she starts high school. I should probably... I'll cut it out, I think, at that point. So. <laughs> I'm kidding, it's a joke. She's of age now. And uh, we, uh, we, we've been together for a while. We just celebrated our anniversary um, a couple months ago. Uh, and it was great. She, she, uh, she wanted to be traditional this year. Um, so she, she wanted to do that thing. I don't know if you've ever seen it. She, it's like uh, each year represents some kind of material for a present. Like one year is like paper, and uh, the second year is like wood or leather or a horse or something. And, and uh, she wanted to do that, but she wanted to do it you know, a little better than more new aging. So I got her pregnant. And uh, she got me an abortion. So it's, no, it's what I wanted. It's what I wanted. She, she's very sweet. She knows me. You know, what are you gonna do? Uh, that's something. Let's see what happens to y'all. You ever uh, ride around in your car and like hear a song on the radio? It just kind of goes and goes in your head, you know. And then all of a sudden, it just kind of goes and goes and goes. And then like half an hour later, you realize that you've just been zoned out the entire time with the song going and going, and your hooker's dead. <laughs> no, no, because the song keeps going, and you just you don't even realize it. It's, all right. <laughs> you ever chew so hard, you, your eyes rattle? <laughs> you ever tried meth? <laughs> I don't, obviously. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, I'm a bigger guy, as you all fuckers can tell. And, uh, and, no, and no one ever talks about it, but it costs more to be a bigger dude, man. Like, it really does. It, it's, it's, it's physically, it's you know, a few more bucks. That extra X and XXL costs money. Man. I, uh, the, I, I, no, I figured it out, actually. Annually, that extra X, 77 big nuggets. It's true. That's like four trips to McDonald's. Right, at least a couple. It's at least a couple trips. Oh fuck. I don't I don't do math. I don't uh, I don't smoke weed despite Ooh. this. No no, I'd be pissed ass at work. You know? so, uh, no, but even if I did, I couldn't, because I already look like the guy. I don't want to be the guy. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's, it's already fucked up. It's bullshit though. Like if I was a black dude. I could smoke weed to be cool. Like, you think of a black guy smoking weed, the representation you think of, what, Snoop Dogg? The coolest motherfucker ever, right? You think a white dude smoking weed, this guy looks like me, or Willie Nelson. <laughs> Shit is that. We need a cool white drug or something, man. I mean, seriously. If, imagine if there was a vote for, like, the, the leader of weed or something. You know, like, if we tried to get someone in the house. Snoop Dogg versus Willie Nelson. Snoop Dogg wins hands down, every time. And it's not just because his policies are better. I'm sure he's just too cool. It's one of those things. If we did vote for it, I, I wouldn't vote because I don't. Uh, I don't vote, and people get really pissed off about that, and I don't know why. It's and they, they always get really, really argumentative. There, it's always like, "Hey, man, it's your civic duty to get out there and vote. You, hey, people fight and die for your right to vote. People, it's you, you're not part of the solution, man. You're part of the problem. It's like, hey, hey, calm down, dude. Relax." I can't vote. Oh, I fell in. <laughs> Which sucks, because then they always end up asking the goddamn question. It comes back to it, and it's, you know, what happened, man? It's, you ever ride around here song? And it's, you know, like, Thanks, man. Happy New Year. Okay, have fun, man.